tell you too so today we're going to be animating a run cycle in 3dx max so um the main reason i've not been posting tutorials for a while is because i've been busy with my game so i just thought about it um since this character is for the game and i'm trying to animate a run cycle why don't i just show you guys how i do it so that's a tutorial and i'm also working on my game so killing um two beds with one stone so let's get it started so the first thing i'm going to tell you to do is um try and set up your biped character i love using biped so next time we'll work on um cats um a cat rig so this is a biped character stick man so um i'm going to select this um two feet um his feet i said two feet Uh, um, click on this set planted key so what this does is that um, no matter how much I move my character down it doesn't go below the um, the grid line here so um so with that I'll just um, try and post so let's start posting the character so I'm gonna turn on auto key you can press N on the keyboard to turn that on or just press the auto key right here okay so um I'll select the center of mass then I'll just uh, Try and post my character. Um, so I'm using a reference. I'm gonna put it in the description so you guys can uh, also make use of it. So um, yeah, I'm sure you guys must have seen this a lot in all those um, ninja movies or cartoon uh, animes. They do this. Um, they have this particular style they run. So this they just do. So the hands are usually like this, like ninjas. And, um, move this this way. Now press this. So if you click on this opposite, so it selects the opposite hand. So I'll do the same. I'll just uh, move this up a bit. Then um, I'll move this. Um, so I like working in my autographic view when I'm working for games, like especially 2D games, like when I'm working on. But you can still go ahead and um, adjust this character in our perspective view. So I'll move this leg um, this way. Then I'll just position it properly. Um, so while I'm working on this, I think I should just pause the video so it's reduced the length of the video. So I'll just speed it up. Don't worry, I'll speed it up. It's fine that way. So I'll go ahead and position this weight. Um, so I'm actually looking at my reference while I'm animating. Okay. So I still need to move um, it down a bit, then move his body forward like so. Move him up a bit, it's so bent like this. Yeah, this is fine. So the head is the position of the head. I need to rotate it a bit, so rotate it like this. So this is the first pose. Then let's move to the next pose, which is um, and always try to make your poses extreme. So this leg, I can still move this one up. I'll go back to my frame zero. Do this. Okay, so um, go this way. Then uh, let's move back. So always select all the bone parts and keyframe it. Set a key for it before you move to the next keyframe. Um, to the next keyframe. So um, I move to this place. So on um, frame five, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, make this extreme. Let's switch up. So, okay. so I'm gonna make this more extreme. I'll move this leg way back like this. Huh? So I'll rotate it so it looks this way. Then I'll go back like this. So yeah. Then this one has to go way up like this chest then we'll take this we'll take this even more then um can go ahead and select this let's move this leg this way yeah so it's um looking more extreme so it goes this way like this then um i'll just try and move the hands a little bit so it looks like they're moving so it just don't look static yeah this is fine so you can go ahead and offset it a bit like this so yeah something like this so we'll move to the next frame which is frame 10 then um set create another pose 
and in this pose that's when the character moves off the ground completely so um his two legs are in the hair so this one would um so we'll make it straight like this then we we'll just rotate this one then we'll rotate um, the toe as well okay so um So just keep the teaching. Like this. I think it's just usually better to just set um the two and put together. So so I'll move um I'll rotate this the left leg as well. I'll make this straight then this part rotate it forward like so and select both it's better so rotate it this way then just dry it and do this yeah this is it then you switch this up again so um on this frame I forgot to select all the keyframes and press the um, go to key frame, key in fold, and just keyframe that. Do the same thing for this frame. So um, now we have we have three poses. So we'll go ahead and I think this is time we switch back to the beginning. So one more frame. So this one, this leg now has to touch the ground on this frame. So select this to just go ahead and move this but make it extreme like this yeah so it's the ground then we move this up so this would um, like flat this way then just go ahead and uh, position it properly yeah so uh, it's like on the same level or higher than the hip a little bit so just mix it extreme make it extreme um, and you need to exaggerate a lot when animating. Move this down. So this is what we have so far. So it goes this way. Then we need to select everything. I don't think I'm so I'll just do it one more time. So um, we we'll move to frame 20. Then this time we switch the legs back to where we started from. But now we're flipping it. So um, on frame 20, you're going to select this leg, you're going to put it in the same position we were before with the other leg, so just rotate this, you know, select both together, it's better that way, I keep forgetting, so I'm um, just going to rotate this, bring this down, yep. Okay, so uh, the design to nowhere. Okay, this was just close to. Okay, I did the same thing. Okay, so um, move this. So this leg is coming back down now. Always keep that in mind when animating. It's coming back down like this. Then you can just go ahead and rotate it slightly. Another thing I want us to. Okay, we can just try and raise this. Um, up a bit so it's not just flat on the ground move this up so we can do the same thing for this part it's just flat on the ground makes no sense like so so okay go ahead and do this huh. so now um we've been able to establish the poses okay i need to move uh, rotate this a bit yeah, so select everything as usual. You can go ahead and set the key for it. So all the bones have been keyed. So um, we we'll move to frame 25. Then the cycle continues. This time we will do the same thing we did for this. But this time the toe will touch the ground a bit. That's according to the reference. So um, this leg 
move put or move this forward like this so it's um make make sure it's facing the ground this way yeah this way then we'll let the tip touch the ground like this so we can go ahead and move this because was about to move up move this So uh, for this um, the ankle, I'm just going to take that a bit like this. Then I'll push it backward to make it more extreme. Yeah, like this. So it flows. Then I'll select everything. Okay, keep framing. Go to frame 30. Then um, this is how we do this. Uh, the same thing we did here. We put legs and in the head and do the same thing on frame 20. So we just raise this way up like this. Then we go this way. So I actually did this in one of my um, games. Um, Stick man game, um, the zombie one, um, save your world, and uh, I didn't really like the results, so I thought I would just explore further. And I figured out it was because I didn't use a reference, so I just didn't like it. So, so I'm doing this again, so I'll just go ahead and take this. So, yeah, this way, then now move it back up. So um, this one can still go forward, just go to my stream. So, good. Select this. Don't forget, and keyframe it. Then, um, so, um, frame 35. This leg will touch the ground. This the extreme pose, right? Then this would flat up just a little bit above the heat, like we did for the other leg. Like this, but close it up a bit. Then move it up. Finally, finally, let's just um, close this up like this. So you hold your control and you hold with your um, right click, then right click in your time in your timeline to just drag. So you can close this up. You can expand, close up, anyhow. You want to go back and forth. This time we're closing it up for frame 35. Let's just um, play it and see what. Done so far. Okay, so um, we need to adjust the timing. The timing needs to be adjusted and the ups and downs. So um, for this part, usually we're supposed to make the character go down a bit. Then that's the contact. Then this part we make him move up a bit. So the jaws don't stay on the same level. And when we go to this point, we stop moving the hands. So uh, here, we're going to go ahead and switch back to auto key and just take this a bit. Take this up. Take this down. So I'll just copy what I have here. Put it on my last frame. So, um, so that I'm going to show you how we can shrink this to like uh, 15 frames. So, let's go ahead and um, 
let's so on frame five on frame five select um, the body horizontal body vertical then um just move the character up a bit then on frame zero move it down a bit then on frame 10 let him go way up like this on frame 14 it's coming down then on frame 20 it's down on frame 20, uh, 25 it's going back up on frame 30 30 to frame um, so I'm gonna copy the same frame I have here and put it here so it looks properly now see this is what we have I think this is a big improvement from what we did at first so um, now by the time we speed it up we're gonna have a proper ninja run cycle so the ups and downs actually gave it a lot of um, weight uh, a lot of set, um, the sense of weight so uh, you know, see the way it keeps going up keep back down up back down so now to um i'm going to select the whole um bones the entire bones then i'll just um come down here and select everything here as well don't forget just click and drag from this empty spot and drag to this um last keyframe select all the keyframes then just but the moment you put it on the hand here, you can adjust the length of the keyframe. So just click and drag to frame 15, like this. Then once you do that, you can now hold Control and Hold, and with a right click, then you drag till um, it's expanded like this. So let now let's play. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. We did it guys so um if you love the video don't forget to subscribe show your friends that you think might need this and also um um don't don't forget to use this in your projects and if, if you come up with something really cool like this or you be able to you were able to style it a bit send it to me let me see uh, my email is in the about section so um uh and once the game is out I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out so bye for now and have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.